did you guys know Google is making another Android version after Android 13? Don't worry, I have the scoop here for you this morning. It's going to be called Android 14. And I have some information on a few pertinent features that appear to be coming to Android 14. This first feature is something that came up a little bit in the comments of a video that I posted the other day where I went over the multitasking capabilities of the Pixel Fold as seen in the footage of the device that we have currently seen. And in those comments, like I said, a couple of people asked about app pairs. Now what this is, as it currently exists on, I believe, maybe there's more devices, but I know for a fact it's on the Z Fold and it's on the Surface Duo. This is a thing where you can have two apps paired together, you click on that single icon and it launches both of those apps at the same time in split screen or on each screen if you're on Surface Duo. And with the Pixel Fold, we have of course seen swiping up and holding to go into the Recents menu and two apps that were split screen remaining together paired in the Recents menu. But what we have not seen to this point is the ability to then save that pair as a shortcut to go right back where you were with those two specific apps open. However, this tweet from Michal Rahman. Michal Rahman. Michal Rahman. Apologies for getting that slightly incorrect. Android 14 is preparing to let you save an app pair that launches side by side in split screen mode. In beta 2, a new launcher flag has been added that when enabled surfaces a save app pair menu item in the context menu of split screen apps in the recent overview. So if we look at this picture, this is kind of what we were talking about, right? You swipe up and hold and the two apps that were split screen stay split screen in the recents. But now there is, as they said, something in the context menu, save app pair. Now they say that this doesn't do anything yet, so it's not really testable, but you can see that the feature is being worked on. Now it is important to note here that this is of course a feature of Android 14. And to my knowledge, the Pixel Fold is launching with Android 13. In fact, if we go here to blog.google slash products, coming soon with Android 14, they say at IO, we gave a sneak peek at an experience coming to Pixel Fold when Android 14 launches later this year. And then they go on to talk about the dual screen interpreter mode, which you can see sort of being demoed in this GIF image here. So it's probably safe to assume this functionality will not be on the Pixel Fold at launch. Likewise, the other two features I'm about to talk about will also likely be coming later this year, as they say here in this blog post. Another feature that we talked about already on this channel that was found originally in the developer preview one that is now more visible in the Android 14 beta 2 is the app cloning feature here. Again, from the shawl, you can see a new flag, enable app cloning changes in launcher. And as you can see here, there's a whole screen for cloning applications. Perhaps, you know, Discord's a good example here. On desktop, you can switch between Discord profiles on your phone. That is a function that you cannot have, but with built-in app cloning, you can just have two discords, one for your personal, one for work or something like that, or you know, Telegram, whatever application you can think of where this would make sense for you. You can clone that app and then have them both there. And as you can see, there's going to be a little icon to separate personal and work. You can kind of designate which one is which. As Michelle points out here, when you do this, as of yet, there is no icon on the desktop. It shows it here, but it's not actually fully implemented. But this should be fully implemented by the time Android 14 is ready to launch again, probably this fall. So last but not least, we have another pretty interesting one and another name that is even further stretching my poor southerner brain to its absolute limits. As per Google, I believe this name will be pronounced Nail Sadikov or something remotely close to that. What they have posted here, I guess I should also say who they are. They're the editor of Google News Telegram channel. This is who this individual is. Looks like Android 14 will finally let you use system navigation while you're dragging and dropping items. That is, you can take a photo or text from one app, open another app, and then drop it there. So in this video that they were kind enough to add, it's quite small here, but what you can see, they're highlighting text, they're long pressing it to drag it around, and then I guess with like another finger, they're like swiping up to go home, launching another app, and they're still dragging that text, and they're able to then put it into the text box, and off you go. Prior, this has only been something you could do with two apps open side by side. You could drag from one app 
to another. But in this instance, you're actually closing, going into another app, and then dropping it in. This is pretty interesting. And then of course they show it here as well with an image and it works pretty much the same way. Now apparently from the comments on this, this is something that you can do in iOS and apparently there are some versions of Android that have already had this enabled. Oppo Reno 8T, someone here is showing exactly that functionality. So this may already be enabled on some devices, but this is going to be now just a basic Android feature going forward with Android 14. And I love seeing more drag and drop stuff being added. We've seen Google promoting the drag and drop stuff from app to app in split screen with the Pixel Fold and a lot of their marketing already, but seeing it like this may be more useful on a normal candy bar style phone. The ability, because let's be honest, split screen on a candy bar phone, not that much fun, but the ability to drag from app to app like this might end up being useful for some people. So guys, there you go. Some cool features coming with Android 14 and of course then coming to the Pixel Fold at that time as well. If you want more content just like this, subscribe before you go. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.